if you saw my previous video i was working on that red cat uh, it's giving beautiful pictures so i wanted to go a bit more wide field and i was thinking what if if i can go into the dslr and use like a telephoto lens and see if i can take wider pictures i'm fairly new for the dslr i don't use dslr that often so this is a rokinon 135 mm lens it is actually a 11 element lens inside and it's pretty fine glass very well uh, designed for astrophotography in mind i mean they call it samyang in other countries as well uh, they are pretty much the same lens either rokinon or samyang uh, this is canon t4i camera and it's a modded camera i think i bought used uh, but i did put a filter inside optolong l enhanced filter the same filter that i was using on the red cat i have a clip-in version for the dslr so that it can actually take some good pictures i wanted to guide because i'm using the ioptron sky guider so to guide i need to have a guide scope this one i got it from the bottom half of the astromania the red dot finder i removed the dslr shoe as well as this clip and i attached it to the orion 50 mm mini guide scope and i have a orion star shoot camera if you have this camera i think it's okay to use but if you don't i recommend using the smaller zwo mini guide scope because that is actually much smaller than this one uh, so i'm using the dew heater this is a new kind of dew heater it's actually usb and you can connect directly uh, into the power adapter uh, it doesn't need like a usb controller this one comes with a uh, high low medium uh, these are like coffee warmers as well uh, so they we can use it for telescopes as well and you saw my lens shifter that i'm using uh, the what i noticed was it's so difficult to focus the dslr precisely very small movement is going to actually change uh, the focus on the dslr so any extender uh, like lens shifters definitely will help you uh, focus it uh, slightly better it's still difficult i i was uh, struggling when i am focusing to make it really perfect this will at least help us do that uh, fine focus that we need also this is ioptron uh, sky guider in the bottom here i used ioptron sky guider before i'm getting to know the ioptron sky guider how to use it very well uh, i'll put more videos as a learn when you look at the object what i uh, noticed was you can actually make this loose so that this actually moves easily right and then you can place the your telescope towards the object you know wherever that you need to go and once you are done with that then you can make this uh, tight right this part and also this one tight right and then if the object if you need to make subtle changes to this you can use the left and right buttons here on the top so that you don't need to use like manual control uh, but on the deck side you have to manually move it i think when you are moving it look through the red dot finder and see where it is going when you move and take a picture with your uh, dslr see if you are positioning it right and then you need to take a picture it's a little cumbersome uh, not as good as a go to mount uh, or a plate solving mount uh, but uh, you know it's lightweight you can easily lift it uh, the tripod here is inoral tripod uh, i think it's uh, very lightweight the way i'm thinking is if i do this setup right i can change the lens you know i can go this is 135 but definitely you can go much wider if you have to right i think that was one of the ideas as well so that's pretty much what i have um, so i'll be taking the picture of the orion wide field and see how it is going to come out i'll definitely share 
my picture with you all. Thank you.